myself miss zina banani welcome to youtube channel of shrimati arif kalya primary school today we will be studying grammar topic nouns number okay now all of you are familiar with nouns but what do you mean by number in nouns you must have heard number in math yes but number in noun means what i will explain to you today there are two numbers in english in english also we have two numbers the first is the singular number now what do you mean by singular number all of you know singular means one any noun that stands for only one person or thing is said to be singular number so remember children any noun that stands for only one person or thing when you talk about only one person or thing it is said to be in the singular number example girl man child etc when you are talking about only one girl only one child only one man we say that it is in the singular number now what what is the second kind the plural number the plural all of you are familiar with the word plural plural means more than one any noun that stands for more than one person or thing is said to be in the plural number example girls men children etc when we talk about one person we say girl but when we talk about more than one we say girls one man more than one men m e n okay a n changes to e n child one child when we talk about more than one child it becomes children so remember there are two numbers in english singular number when we talk about one person or thing and plural number when we talk about more than one person or thing okay students now i will be explaining you some rules okay there are seven rules all together first rule most nouns form their plurals by adding s to the singular example b b is singular there are most nouns okay most of the nouns form their plural by simply adding s to make it plural example b becomes bees okay you just have to add a s tree becomes trees so this is rule one there are many other words like ear e a r e r becomes ears i becomes eyes shop s h o p shop becomes shops table becomes tables window becomes windows so all these nouns are formed they form a plural by simply adding s after the singular noun okay now we come to rule 2 what does rule 2 say nouns ending in s double s x s h or c h form their plurals by adding e s to the singular now the nouns which end in s double s x s h or c h you have to add e s after the singular word or after the singular noun for example gas this word gas has s at the end so when s is there we add es so gas becomes gases these are some of the rules which you have to learn fox the word fox has s at the end so fox becomes foxes you have to add es okay then box b y x box becomes boxes because there is x after last word is x brush b r u s h s h okay so brush becomes
Wait. 
So donkey becomes donkeys. Toy, T O Y, before Y you have O. So toy becomes toys. R A Y, ray, the rays of the sun. Ray becomes rays. K E Y E, Y, before Y you have double E. So key becomes keys. Okay? So remember this rule that when it has a consonant, when Y has a vowel before it, you will add S. And if it has a consonant, you will remove the Y and you will add I E S. Now we move on to the fifth rule. What does the fifth rule say? Nouns ending in F or F E form their plurals by changing.
singular to plural. Why do they seem to know? Note the plural of man servant is men servants. Okay? Man and men changes to M E N and servant becomes servants. So man servant changes to men servants. A changes to E. Okay. Next one. Uncountable, you are already familiar with countable and uncountable nouns. Uncountables are very rarely used in the plural. Very sometimes only you use uncountable nouns in the plural. Otherwise, they are used in the singular. Gold, furniture, sugar, milk, dirt, dust. Smoke, meat should be used only in the singular form. I am giving you an example. I gave her all my furniture. You gave table, you gave chair, you gave so many furniture, you gave bed. But you will not say I gave her all my furniture. Furniture is used only in the singular form. The floor was covered with dust and dirt or you can say the floors were covered with dust and dirt dust and dirt also remains in the singular form ok so remember uncountables are very rarely used in the plural coal, furniture, sugar, milk, dirt, dust, smoke, meat are always used in the singular some nouns have the same form for the plural as for the singular. That means there are some nouns which are same in the singular form as well as in the plural form. They do not change in the plural. Whether it is singular or plural, it remains the same. Example, sheep, beer, fish, trouser, dozen. Okay, see, sheep. There is a sheep in the field. These sheep have no wool on them. Whether you use it as a singular form, there is a sheep in the field or sheep means one sheep. Then also it is sheep or whether you use it as a plural form. These sheep have no wool on them. If it changes to plural, we don't say sheep. Sheep, singular, plural, sheep. Deer. This deer has beautiful horns. One deer, this deer. If I change it to plural, I will not say deers. These deer have beautiful horns. It does not change to deers. Dozen. Twelve pieces. I bought a dozen pencils. A dozen. But when dozen changes to plural, she gave us five dozen pencils. It does not change to dozens. Dozen is the same for singular and plural. Fish. The fish is swimming in the pond. One fish. Fish swim in water. It's a common mistake many of you make. Fishes. You write fishes. But children, fish is same for singular and plural. We don't say fishes. Okay? Fish for singular and fish for plural. And next one, trousers. His trousers were old and shabby. His trousers. Okay? Or all the trousers were made by the same fashion house. Even if you talk about one pair of trousers, then also trousers. Or more than one, then also trousers. Not trousers, trousers. Whether it is one, one pair or more than one pair. Okay. So trousers remain the same. Next one. The following nouns are always used in the singular form. Remember these nouns are always used in the singular. News, furniture, mathematics, physics, scenery, innings. I'll give you an example. Furniture. The furniture of my house is quite new, very new. We don't say 
virtue is uh, abstract now okay so you can say she has many virtues if it is used in the virtue means quality something which you have good okay like honesty truthfulness so we can use virtue because we are using it as plural virtues it becomes common i told you when they are used in the plural they are used as common noun so we can say she has many virtues or he did many kindnesses okay these we can use them in the plural kindnesses or virtues okay we must never say his family members have come what is the correct answer the members of his family have come this is a three feet rule no this is a three foot rule we have purchased a ground on harrison road we have purchased a piece of ground on harrison road so when you read you will understand that what what is the correct way of saying he is a 5 years old boy no he is a 5 year old boy we don't say 5 years old boy he is a 5 year old boy we had a good play of hockey we had a good game of hockey always help the poor no always help the poor there is no place for you in this compartment there is no room for you in this compartment we don't say place we say room okay now we move on to the next one <coughs> fish and hair are singular when they are used collectively i give you the example of fish fish and hair are singular when they are used collectively it is used together but when they are used to point out separate things they are used in the plural when they use them collectively they are used as singular but when they are used to point out separate things they are used in the plural example there is plenty of fish here plenty there were some red and white fishes caught you are pointing out the red and the white fishes so you will say fishes because you are using to you are using red and white fishes you have separated the fishes so there were some red and white fishes mary has golden hair so only hair he has few white hairs in his beard you are talking about specially the white hair so you will say white hairs so when you point out separate things they are used in the plural hair comes hairs one more thing when the subject changes from the singular to the plural the predicate also changes for example a fox has a tail fox is singular so a fox becomes foxes and tail becomes tails and has become have foxes have tails that boy walks hard that becomes those boy becomes boys works become work and hard so those boys work hard the bird lives in its nest birds the birds live in their nests as will come so remember when the subject changes to plural the predicate subject changes the predicate also changes from singular to plural over here we end our lesson you just have to remember a few rules okay this lesson noun number is basically upon rules which you have to remember that if there is an s at the end what will you use f or f e changes to v e s so if you remember the rules children it will be easy for you and there are some exception words which i told you that also you need to know thank you children i hope you enjoyed see you